Go the next one. Go the next one. Go in. And it's a, um, Ezekiel 2 and verse 4. For they are impudent children and stiff hearted. I do send thee unto them, and thou shalt say unto them, Thus said the Lord, Yahweh, and they, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear, for they are a rebellious house. Right. Yes, sir. So, 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 when you come out here, we're supposed to say, Thus said the Lord, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, and, and by standing up, and handing out fryer. You're not saying that, man. Yeah? You're not saying that. Not, 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 not to knock in that you can give somebody um, information to research. But where is where is your testimony, man? See, where, where is the testimony of the Lord? You're supposed to speak. Yeah? You're supposed to speak this gospel that they may hear and be converted per adventure of the Lord. Um, Willing, yeah, you're supposed to speak this gospel, man, so that them can hear at, 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 at your mouth that you were speaking of the Lord Yahweh Basham Yahushai. Yeah, you know what I mean? No, yeah. no, 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 a quick one. It says, um, this is Isaiah 8 and verse 20. He says, To the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because. There is no light in them. Right, so if you're not speaking according to what is written in the scriptures, man, it simply means that you have no light in you. But, hey, we all be honest, man. You have some... Wait, 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 do you have a problem in your life? God can help you. They're the opposite of the narcotic the other day. Yo, when the man speak, man, you get you, you feel motivated. But I lie, them 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 up that them up that car the lock. See if them if, if if you want to be prompt up and feel good on the inside. See these men have, have the have the skill to to cunningly craft. Yeah, you know. Yeah, how to properly fix things. We get across and and play the emotions and your mood. Unlike us, you know, yeah, we, yeah, we can we can be versatile, yeah, we can be a little here and a little there, or we can be smooth and but but for the most part, it's just a hard truth, man. It's, it's just it's just a plain truth. Hey, repent, or else the most is gonna destroy you. See, that's that's the be all and the end all of all of, of all that. And for the other nations, look, according to the scriptures, there is a judgment coming for you, man. See, so whether we want to join hands, yeah, whether we want to feel like say yo, you know, we we'll join hands and come together, which which is against scriptures, it not, it not gonna work because the Lord already prescribed something for the nations, man. Anybody's huh? Huh? What do I call the Okay, what do I call the scriptures or the Holy Bible? And what was it made for? Uh, give me that in, um, um, Timothy, all the scriptures. Oh, it's all the Yeah, the scriptures, yeah. And we, we were sure what, what, what it was made for. You know, scripture? Okay, what? Second Timothy chapter uh, 3, verse 16. Our uh, scripture is given by inspiration of God uh -huh. and is profitable for doctrine. Hold on, hold on. Okay, read again. Second Timothy chapter 3, verse 16. Our uh, scripture is given by inspiration of God. And it's, prof it's profitable uh -huh. for doctrine, uh -huh. for reproof, reproof, for correction, for, correction. for instruction, instruction in righteousness. In righteousness. Go ahead. That the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. So that, that, that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. What is good? The laws in the Bible are good. No, the reason why we're in this predicament that we're in today as a, as a race of people. Right, it was good. Let's do it. Read back again. Right, back. Right, let's, 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 let's. No, go on. The Apostle Paul. Yeah. See? Read, read, read it. Read it. Read it. Read the first line again. This is um, 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16. All scripture is given by inspiration of God. That's, that's the point of it. Scripture said, all scriptures was given by the what? The inspiration of the God, of, God, of the Most High. You understand? So these words are inspiring words of the Heavenly Father. You believe that? You don't know. I, I, you don't believe it. So everybody, I... Everybody write what they write, they are married. Uh -huh. And most of those men are writing the Bible, they were so much wicked men. Why you say that? Yeah. 
David was wicked? Where said David was wicked? All of the man, all of the man, no particular right in the Bible. They write up for the old. Pardon me, Okay, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Is there somebody on this earth that ever walked this earth that is not wicked? Perfect. If you follow, if you follow the scriptures, well, not, if you follow the scriptures, you're gonna be perfect. No, what David said, right? You, you know about David said, right? What did David do? Do sin. Yeah. Yeah, see if you're right, wife. Come to church, right? No, I'm calling to the scripture. Was David supposed to do that? I'm going to get a prayer. I'm sinning against, against the law. Yeah. A sin is a transgression of the law. What law? Let me try to get across now. So, no, seeing that, uh, seeing that David had sinned, right? Was he following the laws, the Bible, when he took you right, wife, and murder you right? Was he following the scriptures at that time? He can't. He can't be can following the scriptures at that time. You know why? Because according to the scripture, you're not supposed to commit adultery. So in that sense, he was not perfect there. You understand? That's the reason why the scripture said all scriptures was given for the man of God to be perfect. So if David... When he had saw your wife, I said, look, that is adultery. I'm not going to do that. At that point in time, what would happen? He would have been perfect because he keep the law. But see that he never keep the law, he never perfect. No, be, because no, no, we can't keep the law perfectly. That's the reason why we have an advocate. You know what the scripture says? That's the reason why the son of the Lord have to come and spill free blood. We bring up from in our Hebrews to tell us in the first covenant we couldn't keep it. You know what the scripture says? You know? See? That's the reason why him will have to come and him have to spill free blood because. The blood of lambs and, and bullocks, them things, they couldn't make it perfect because the conscience as the brothers that go in, you know, that, that never does. Because what have you used to do, you know, back in the ancient world? Because if you have sacrificed something, then the sin and the sickle of something, and the sacrifice, and that couldn't make them perfect because the inside, just like the baptism, they just dip in the water and you come up and you say, I'm saved. No, in a work like that. In a work like that. What really works is when your mind in the name is of the perfect in the Holy Ghost. For your country. Right. Con right. 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 Exactly. Right. 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 Was not yet made manifest, huh? while as the first tabernacle was yet standing. Yeah, because in the first tabernacle, them they, they, they used to keep these ordinances, like the sacrificial laws, you know? But that, and, and the warped and baptism and them things, but that couldn't make them perfect. See, because you dip now every day, maybe. Every day you're being. Every day, well, me, me should think every day, most of we be. You understand? Two, three times a day. You understand? No. That not make a man mind clean. Whether you want to do it in you know, one building or out a door or at the river and our crowd, it that not gonna make your mind clean. You understand that? Which was a figure for the time then present. And that was a figure for the time then present. Because what happened when the Lord gave us this Israel was a carnal people that has we are look at them today. Look at them. All them can't take out on their phone. See? And, and the internet, them corner, them, them lack spirituality. Yeah, go ahead. In which were, uh, were offered more gifts and sacrifices uh -huh. that could not make him that did service perfect. It couldn't make them perfect. Half of gifts and, and sacrifices. Oh, well. Couldn't. Go ahead. As pertaining to the conscience. As pertaining to the conscience. So it, it's a conscience thing we are dealing with now. Right, go ahead. Which stood on it. In meats and drinks and diverse washing. Only meats, you know, sacrifice and diverse washings. I'm gonna say, yo, why we see a bell baptized? Come in this bell, you know, dip in the water and cook, and then you find yourself doing even ten times worse than when you used to the first. See it, boy? 
And carnal ordinances. And they are carnal. The word carnal means flesh. Carn come from um, seed. And that's what I mean flesh. They are flesh ordinances. Go ahead. Carnal ordinances imposed on them until the time of reformation. It was imposed on them until the time of reformation. No. The time of reformation is when the Son of the Lord came on the seed. And then him start, him start do some things now where even the wicked guys and Pharisees them say, say, yo, how you have to do this? What is about? How you have to do this? That's not accusing because no, he might come set the record straight for some people who didn't understand. That's the reason why we can teach what we are teaching now because we understand the records. So look here. Physical sacrifice cannot, as in when the sacrifice an animal, them things that cannot make the perfect. The perfection starts within, in your mind. Give it all, shall a young man cleanse his waist to no Baba Kwasha. Go ahead. 51. And in Psalms 119 and verse, verse 9 says, uh -huh. Where we tell shall a young man cleanse his way uh -huh. by taking heed there to according to thy word. So how you cleanse your way? By taking heed to the word. Because according to the word, there are structures of laws. Yeah? Where if you follow them, you're going to live forever. But obviously, we die in every day because the way you have seen is dead. So we don't follow them. You know what time with us? I probably say, look, get the dirty crab and look, you see some girl with a cat, a girl who walks in the dirty shit, and a bag of walk. You eat. According to the law, you're supposed to eat that. Because that will fill up your body with parasites and you'll kill yourself. Then you start ball for your heart, right? You know, you know, you say, you got church now, you repent. After you know, all of them will keep this thing. I know you decide to say you're second of no. That don't work like that. The most are an idiot. See, it's because people think the most are stupid than them. You understand? But it don't work like that. Go back hey. in, the, in, the, in the Hebrews, where they are. Hey, hey, act. Huh? Act. Uh, just like the same, like just the same thing like when a woman they would do much a man for your, for your period of her life and then she goes to she goes sick along. And sick along with, with, a, with one man. With no, one man no. Listen, no man no uh, good. Uh, when you did already a roll road red. It don't work like that. See? The most I say remember that creator what? In the days of thy youth. Yeah, go ahead. See I'm being youth out here. See? Go ahead. Verse 11. But a mashiach being come on I. Priests of good things to the, come. The Lord, come on high. Priests of good things to come. With this word, go ahead. By a greater and more perfect tabernacle. By a greater and more perfect tabernacle. That's the reason why when you have an altar out here, like a physical altar, a sacrifice. This is the altar, the word. This is our sacrifice, our bodies. We live in sacrifice. You hear the remarks of people pass about it. You understand? The people that don't even know it. You understand? Because we, we come to we show ourselves as ministers of the Lord, Yahweh Baal Shem You understand? Go. Uh, uh, uh. We are the Hebrew Israelites. You are the Israelites as well. See? Huh? Because they attack even um, since they had um, three girls passed here, so. Mm. And them say, we out here are close God, we, not, we hate God, and a God create way. See that? And I thought what they must say, but them not. And how oh, ironic, every night they read from the scriptures, but we hate God. <laughs> Mad people blind, they must sleep. They must sleep. See? Who will read the Bible more that way? Nobody. Eh? Yeah? Life is an experience, you know. You have to live it, you really feel it. True. The Bible is a book. True. Well, I live, we live it now. So, but, but you know the funny thing? The funny thing? What is, what is life? Yeah, what is what is life? Give me to John 63. I'm not sure what is life. God is a saying here, not because you're alive, that doesn't mean you're living. So what is life? Alright. So what is that? And then you can give me Proverbs 21 verse 16. Verse 16 verse 21. The man that wandered out of the way. See? We want to have John. Alright, so I said John. 66. Verse, um, uh, 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 go on, go on. What will be Proverbs? Then John chapter 6, verse 63. Uh -huh. It is the spirit that quickeneth. It says the spirit that quickeneth. The word quicken means to make alive. So the spirit it is, which is the word of God, it is what makes alive. Go ahead. The flesh trusted nothing. Go ahead. The word that I speak unto you. They are spirit and they are life. So the words that the Lord speak, they are spirit 
and they are alive. So when you when truly receive life, is when you receive this word. Trust me, we can tell you have an experience. See, when, when, when you look, I say, come, stupid things that we are used to do. And when, when the Lord reveal himself to you and, and suck with you and give a certain level of understanding, see, to the point where, to the way, back in the world, we don't think almost impossible, like committing adultery. Many people come out here so would I ever think say them would have stopped from it adult before this truth. Right now, we don't look up we don't look up on another man woman to be as a girl like that. You understand? Because it is wrong. And the scriptures show us why it is wrong and the judgment where we come for it. So therefore, this network becomes um, alive now. We are now living because now we understand perfectly why we are not supposed to commit adultery. Yeah, so many people who have never seen. Give me that in a, in a, in a first Corinthians. I'm still going to put it in a first Corinthians.